Here we have a very interesting little club machine made by Sama in the 1970s. Uh, it's been uh, recently redone and is just a wonderful little machine. As you can see, it has similarities to a more familiar form to some people, which is the Ponte Vecchio Lusso. Uh, the Sama designs are currently being manufactured by Ponte Vecchio and this is one of the vintage machines that is a real classic. Uh, as you can see, slightly different features, similar format, that we have a quick release steam and water on this rather than the knobs. Very precise operation. Steam, the water is a little bit active. Okay, one well, of the features of this uh, machine is the group itself. The group is uh, basically identical to the Electra uh, MCAL group in that it has the top plate which is attached with two screws and these, you release these screws the entire piston and spring comes out in one piece for uh, easy maintenance. It's a very good feature for a machine. Anything that makes maintenance easier is just great. Uh, one, the, the, the portafilter, as a matter of fact, this is, takes a 49 millimeter basket. You can see how deep it is. Very similar to the current Ponte Vecchio, except for the size. Here I have an Electra. This is an MCAL. It's shallower. As you can see, different orientation. The Electra locks into the right, this one locks into the left but they could be substituted in a pinch. Um, one big difference of this machine than the... Get a little look at the back of it here. It could be sitting right there on the bar in the club. No problem. Is this, this is the thermosiphon group, as is the Ponte Vecchio Lusso, but the Electra is not. Here we have the thermosiphon. This top tube is the delivers the hottest water, which arrives in the back of the group. It goes through the the stem here, and the cold line is the lower one. The water falls back down, and it creates a continuous heat loop. Very simple inside. Boiler cap, pressure safety valve, and the, the quick valves. Very simple design. Insulated piece in the back to protect the paint. All right, let me get it back oriented around here. The thermosiphon feature on any group basically means that when using the machine, you have to make sure that you deliver the adequate amount of heat to the group. And you do this by flushing. Uh, whether it's a big commercial machine or a smaller machine like this, you can see it's just not hot enough right now, you can tell by touch. So the first thing that you do to prepare a shot is that we'll need to preheat the group by flushing water and you can really feel the heat come up. Depending on your, your usage and how long the machine's been on, you might have to flush a couple of times. All right. Now, go ahead and dose the basket separately. You can do this quite a few different ways. You've been playing with this beautiful vintage batch grinder. You've been enjoying this evocation coffee. Amarillo, Texas, these people. Roman and Amy. And you know where they are right now? They're in Italy. They're supposedly exploring espresso blends, but I have a feeling that that's not true. Well, I hope they're doing that and having fun. Well, they're probably having fun. Very good company. Good prices, fast shipping, really nice roasts. Okay, so I'll take this. So, we'll just go ahead. About a 14 gram basket. So, fun thing about working out in your shop is that you can make a big mess. It's not like the kitchen. 
I just wanted to make sure I got this fully dosed. It's like so many lever machines, you basically don't have to do a lot of tamping. You just tap it down. In this case, make sure it's even on the top. And I just check for level. It's got a five millimeter side on it, which is about right. This has got a fairly Dispersion screen is pretty well up there. You just check for level, clean it off, and we come back. We'll go ahead, and yeah, it's good and hot. I can barely touch it, so that looked pretty good. Now, since this is not a plumbed in machine, we're going to be pre infusing at the, the boiler pressure. Already got some drops coming through. As you can see, very simple. Uh, biggest challenge is working out your temperature uh, of that group. You might have to, to flush a couple of times. Uh, the changes in shot volume are basically by at this point. If you felt like pulling the lever again, just for experimentation, it's just fine. But there we have the, the 1970s era uh, Sama Club machine. Uh, the machine that became the Ponte Vecchio Lusso, and it is a real beaut. Thank you very much.